What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We're back here for yet another episode, and uh, in this week's tackle tip video, I'm going to be going over how to protect your investment in fishing. Now, we all know that fishing can be very expensive, and uh, mainly, the most expensive part is the rods and reels. And so today, I'm going to be going over how to protect those using rod socks and reel covers. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off going into the reels, and uh, reels can be very, very expensive. Um, they're probably one of the most expensive part of fishing, if not the most. Um, prices normally range from like $50 to $75, and all the way up to, I think some saltwater reels might even be $1,000. Um, I'm not completely sure on that, but I do know that reels are very expensive, and uh, this right here is just a standard reel cover. I think at Academy it costs like $3.99. So for what this thing can do and protect your investment in this little thing right here can be like saving 80 bucks and uh, or however much you put into your reel. But one of the most important things that a reel cover can do is just like protection. Now um, it can protect it from a wide range of stuff. Um, one of the most things is scratches. You get a lot of scratches on these things from moving them in and out of houses. I'm in my room right now, but moving them in and out of houses, cars, um, if you take them on airplanes and that kind of stuff, airplanes. And so they can get scratched up a lot of different ways and uh, a real cover can be a lifesaver for this thing. And if you're a guy like me who loves to loves for everything to be nice and neat. Um, you don't want a whole bunch of scratches on this thing. Plus, it, it, it just doesn't look bad. So, that's that's kind of the one main thing. And another thing is dust. Now, I haven't experienced this for myself. I was just thinking of some stuff that could happen to a reel. And uh, I kind of came up with this. I've ne Again, I've never experienced it. But, I, I believe it could happen at some point. Um, is that if your reel is sitting alone, just like this on the table, for a wide range, a long time, this thing will collect quite a bit of dust, and, uh, and then that dust can get in some gears, and uh, the dust, I'm not sure if it'll ruin anything, I'm not completely sure, um, but there's all, you're always running a risk that it could ruin something and get in the gears and just mess up some of the grinding stuff, whatever those little things with gears and they go turn like that. Um, I don't know what those things are called, but it could mess up something. I don't know, but I was just thinking of that and uh, it gets, it keeps the dust out of the working part. Um, now these things don't cover the handle, but they do cover the like kind of like working session. So that's kind of about the real cover and how you do it that and everything. So now you guys know how to protect your reels and a very large investment of your money in fishing. Now let's take that and we'll put it to some rods. Alright guys, so now going into how to protect your rods from all the wear and tear that they get is rod socks. Now I'm not sponsored by rod socks, but I do own quite a few of theirs. Um, I think I believe I have four um, I've got several different colors here, you know, you've got pink, I think I used to use that to, you can also use these for separating your rods by the power um, and the action, if you wanted to get fancy with the action, you can, but the power is a really good one, I think I used to use like pink for medium heavies, maybe a red for a medium, and then the gray one is for a, uh, a spinning rod. And so you can also use these to uh, kind of tell which rod is which, um, if you want to use it that way. But the main reason is to protect your rod. And one of the biggest ways that you can protect, um, or one of, the th one of the biggest things that you can protect on your rod, other than uh, scratches and just normal wear and tear of like some, getting maybe get, getting the paint dinged up and everything, is the guides. And these guides are very important. Uh, they these especially if you guys don't know all the parts of the guide they have an insert and it's a little plastic uh, m these ones are black and it's a little ring and uh, pretty much it protects uh, your line 
from that metal and if one of those inserts pops out and I've had it done to me uh, before you're always running the risk of setting the hook or even casting and that uh, that metal um, frays your line just enough and the line breaks and if you're throwing a big swim bait you're gonna lose a lot of money um, but especially the ones with the tips uh, which are very important because those are the ones that pressure is put on a whole lot. Um, sometimes I don't worry about these middle ones a whole lot, especially if I'm throwing braid because you're going to have to cut through more than one strand because most braid is like eight strands long. But the tip is very important. All you do is it just has a little, little uh, circle thing and it goes all the way down through these tubes and you just slide it on here and it protects your guides very good um, and uh, it doesn't let them get chipped up it doesn't let anything touch the inserts which is very nice and uh, they just they work really well um, and so that's uh, that's pretty much how I protect most of my rods um, another little quick tip for you guys is that if you all have a bunch of rods I don't have a lot but whenever I'm traveling um, with my parents and uh, in their car and I have to put a whole like five rods in their car I use these little straps right here these are made by rod glove too these are called rod wraps um, and all you do is you get like five rods with your rod socks and you put them together I will have one rod here but you put them together and you wrap these things this one is wider and you put it down here near the bottom section and you wrap that one and then you get the smaller one and you wrap it at the tips and so that you you can literally pick up one rod and it has every other rod that you have in that band with it and so it's very nice that you can carry multiple rods and you can actually only be like holding one rod which is super awesome um, but other than that I hope you all learned how to uh, protect some of y'all's investments in fishing um, as you guys uh, get bigger and better in the fishing game you guys will want to uh, upgrade your equipment and this is a great way to uh, to protect that investment and uh, just just keep that in the back of your mind that you have your your uh, your stuff protected a little bit more than what it already is so other than that thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation peace guys